Hi, it's Alicia Rivera, and this is my upload for pillar number eight, Simon Peter Building Rocky, Sculpting a Leader. So um, this reads, from weakness to strength, from bitter remorse to joy, from pride to humility, Simon Peter grew from an unstable reed of a man to a rock of faith. Leaders are not born, they are sculpted by the hand of God. The enemy wants to point out how flimsy, how reed-like we are. God does not lie about, about the truth of our weakness, but he doesn't condemn us with that truth. Jesus said, apart from me, you can do nothing. But in me, by me, for me, and through me, you can do all things. I love the analogy they put here about a sculptor and his student looking at a block of marble. And the sculptor asks the student, what do you see? And the student says, I see a block of marble. And the student replies, what do you see? And the master says, I see a masterpiece. And so like the student, um, we look at ourselves as like that block of marble. Uh, a block of marble with no shape, no definition, no nothing, just a block of marble. Um, and God, our Lord, our Savior, our Master, um, our Sculptor, sees a masterpiece. He sees us for who we are, but he also sees what we will become. So, um, Peter, he... Um, he saw himself as pretty strong and powerful as a leader, and he was the one who was outspoken. Um, he was very uh, quick to, you know, say things, do things, correct someone, um, talk about his own um, righteousness. And I'm sure, you know, as a state here, he's probably very strong physically because he was a fisherman and, you know, down where he worked, um, everybody was probably very strong. You have to be strong to be a fisherman. So he was pretty tough and probably very sure of himself. Um, but he didn't know how weak he was. Um, and Jesus saw Peter for who he was um, and what he would become. And at the time, you know, his name was Simon. And Jesus met him and he looked at him and he said, you are Simon. You will be called Peter. And Peter means rock. So Jesus saw all of his flaws and yet he knew he would make him into the rock. Um, and uh, there is a, an example and it talks about, you know, how... Um, Jesus was um, preaching and he borrowed a man's boat to do this. And he told Peter when he was done to take the boat into deep water and let down the nets. And so Simon, he corrected Jesus and he let the master know this wasn't a good idea. But he let down the nets and he sank, he almost sank the boat with the catch that he had. And so he felt very ashamed of himself and he fell down at Jesus' feet. And he said, you know, depart from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. But Jesus didn't walk away. He already knew who Simon was. He knew that he was um, chiseling away at that block of marble and getting, you know, just taking away those uh, unnecessary parts of him and sculpting him into his masterpiece and so um little by little as you know peter made mistakes he failed in certain things jesus that was the chiseling the getting rid of the excess um to form the masterpiece and so um that wasn't the only instance there was peter when he drew the sword and he cut off a man's ear when he denied jesus um, these were all instances where, you know, he did fail. Um, and yet, you know, it was a process where God was chiseling away at this block of marble 
for him to be sculpted into a leader, into God's masterpiece. And after Jesus rose from the dead, rose from the dead, he said to Peter, "Follow me." And he followed him, and he became a pillar in the church and a leader in the revolution that turned an upside down world right side up. Um, and when the soldiers came for him 30 years later, he didn't draw a sword and try to fight. He died a faithful servant of God, just like a rock. He stayed exactly where he was, you know, put his foot down. Um, and Jesus, he's, he's sculpting us as well, just the same way that he sculpted Peter. And sometimes that process um, is painful. And sometimes... You know, we run into situations we don't understand and we think we do and then we do something, you know, in our own understanding and we ended up we end up failing. Um, but that's just a chiseling away. And thankfully, you know, God does not depart from us, but he does stay with us. He loves us um, and he continues to sculpt us every day. Leaders are not born. They are sculpted. Um, and the Bible says Ephesians 2.10 for we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand so that we would walk in them. So the, reflect, the reflection question, as Jesus fashions you into a rock, into a masterpiece, how do you respond in worship? Each and every time, um, personally, I go through something where you know I make a mistake um there was an error in my judgment I lean to my own understanding you know I speak out of turn um each and every time that happens God does point it out to me and I do repent and afterward I can rejoice and I can feel free and I can feel uh, his spirit all around me rejoicing um, and I rejoice with him, with my father, um, because I know that he wouldn't leave me and I'm imperfect and I'm still being sculpted and I'm still being chiseled away. Um, and so with this lesson, um, I thought about having partners, one being um, the sculptor and one being that block of marble, like a Peter. And to just play instrumental music, um, maybe something with percussion that the sculptor can pretend to have a chisel with a hammer and chiseling away and or um, even if it, if the person can play like a lump of clay and the, and the other one is a potter and they're fashioning them and to use that person and sculpt them and the last, you know, do it for a certain amount of time and then say switch or finish or whatever it is and the masterpiece is done and then they would switch and the other person, the the one who was being sculpted then becomes the sculptor and vice versa. Um, and again, to some percussion music or something that's instrumental to leave the mind open um, and leave the heart open and the spirit open to God, to speak to the sculptor, because um, it is a time where you should be, you know, prayer right before um, to hear from God and to then become that sculptor. Um, and so that's it. Um, that is my pillar number eight, sculpting a leader. Blessings to you all.